This is Android O. It's the next step in the evolution of the Android operating system, and right now there are a lot of questions about this release that we don't really have answers to, like what does the O stand for or what devices are going to get the update. But at this point we do have a pretty good idea as to what new features Android O will offer, so let's talk about that. First off, Android O drastically improves the way Android handles notifications. To start with, there's this new animation when you swipe down that I find really satisfying. But more importantly, you can now snooze notifications. For instance, if you don't want to deal with a particular notification when it first pops up, you can now slide it slightly to the left or right and snooze it for a certain amount of time. And of course, after that amount of time elapses, the notification will reappear. And also from the notification shade, you can now choose to not only block notifications from a specific app, but also what kind of notifications from that app. For instance, if you're tired of getting a notification whenever you take a screenshot, you can now disable only screenshot notifications instead of all notifications from the System UI app. Now let's talk about the Settings app, because a lot has changed here. Settings now features a different color scheme, reorganized menus, and there's no longer a slide out menu. There's still suggestions at the top and a search bar and all that, but I'm just really glad that the menus are more coherently organized. For instance, I personally think that it makes more sense to put Bluetooth into the connected devices menu instead of in the wireless and networks menu. Also, the battery and storage screens look much cleaner as well. The next feature that I'm personally a huge fan of is the new file manager. Not only is it much improved, cleaner, and easier to use, but it's also now listed in the app drawer. This basically eliminates the need to download a third party file manager, because this version of the Android file manager actually has all the basic file management features you could ever need built in. The next feature is the ability to customize the navbar. You can now move the position of the navbar to make it easier to reach, and you can also add custom shortcuts such as the clipboard tool, keyboard switcher, and the most exciting one, key codes, which basically lets you stick a button on your navigation bar that can do anything you want. Launch apps, control music, toggle settings, and a bunch more. Last but not least, there's picture in picture mode, which allows you to shrink a video you're watching into a floating window that allows you to watch that video while you're doing something else. Besides that, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you're excited about Android O, go ahead and drop a like down below. Please subscribe to Arium TV if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys in the next video.